So how do you praise someone or how do you appreciate someone within Karma in Microsoft Teams? So it's very simple. So all you have to do is just mention our product and then mention a person. Just to do the plus plus, the sign for Karma and then just tell why do you think the person deserves a recognition? For helping me out. And that's it. You'll get a card. And that means that a karma was approved and Victor right there got one karma. Let us navigate to the to the actual board. So in the conversation we have the feed of karma, all the karma that's been approved within our product. Then we have a few tabs. Let me quickly tell you a little bit about each one of them. In karma we have a nice little board and that is good for across the whole company. So we have received, given and a karma feed. The equally important, the received karma and the given karma and also the karma feed. As I've said in my presentation, every karma that was given out within our product is linked to the core company value. And company value is right here. You can also change the letterboard just to reflect a single value. You can try goals and above and beyond. That makes the whole letterboard a little bit more randomized. A different makes a different person on top. So if you didn't really make it across all the values, you're probably most likely to make it in a single value. So that makes make, make made a bit of a bit of a mix or a bit of a diversity for the leaderboard. We also have rewards, profiles, and settings. Let's we'll cover the settings. That's how you can customize our product. You can limit number of karma per request. You decide if you'd like to have a karma description, add your security and billing profiles. From settings, you can also turn on values, turn on permissions, assign roles, and do something with notification received from our product. So in values, you indicate your core company values. You can add as much, as many car values as you like, and we will analyze those values and assign a curated value per karma request that was given. So every recognition linked to company value. You can also turn on rewards and just make some, some nice small rewards for the employees to redeem. Normally it's one karma point per karma coin and you can set the list of rewards. And assign roles, you can assign who's going to be an administrator or who's be just a typical user. And the billing info is just for a credit card and a subscription. So let's quickly look how profiles work. As I said earlier, we connect all the karma or appreciations to the company values. And if you look at my profile, you'd be able to see that I've received a certain number of karma in every category or in every value. So you can download a PDF and put it in front of you and you can see why David done some brilliant job back in May, for example. And he was attending our demo, and that is well done on communications. So that's how a product works. You give your karma from Teams, and then you have this nice dashboard where you can control all the settings and where you have nice rewards, great profiles, and the leaderboard. Thanks, guys.